The eBay insertion fee calculator is here to help you understand exactly how much fees you are paying given your existing eBay store subscription and when it is a good idea to upgrade your subscription to the next eBay store subscription. For those of you who don't know, an eBay insertion fee is a certain fee that you're paying eBay for every time you list an item on your store if that listing is not a part of the store insertion fees that eBay is giving you for their stores. For every store subscription that you have, eBay gives you a number of free listings that you have included inside that package. Once you pass that certain limit, eBay will charge you a certain amount for every time you list an item above what you have in your package. Now eBay does make this confusing and that is why this video will show you how you can calculate your eBay insertion fees correctly and know when is the right time to move on and upgrade yourself to the next store before spending too much money paying eBay's insertion fees for your current store. So how does that work and how can you make the most out of it? We have eBay's descriptions on what each store gives us, including how much we're going to pay monthly or annually and how many free fixed price listings eBay is going to give us inside that store subscription. For example, we've got the basic store right here, which gives you 1000 free fixed price listings for $22 a month with the annual subscription. And for $60 a month, they'll give you 10,000 listings, which is 10 times more what they're giving you in the basic store. But what does that mean? If you've got the basic store right now and you've listed a thousand listings and now you want to list a thousand and one, is that the right time to move from basic to premium? Well, since we know that eBay is charging us a 25% insertion fee for every additional listing above the 1000 then of course on 1001 we're just going to pay 25 cents so it's still better than paying 60 dollars instead of the 22 but there is that certain limit that you need to know that certain sweet spot where now it will be a good time to upgrade to the next store and this is one thing that ebay makes really hard and confusing to understand and that is why we now have the ebay insertion fee calculator to help you understand and calculate your insertion fees and know exactly when is the right time to move to the next store here is how to use AutoDS's free ebay insertion fees calculator step number one choose your store's country in this case, I'll leave it on the United States, if for example, I'm selling in the United States region. Then choose what eBay store subscription you currently have. So for example, if you just sign up to eBay and you haven't subscribed to any store yet, you will be on the non-store option. And then you have the rest of the store subscriptions, the starter store, basic, premium, anchor, and enterprise. So choose the right store subscription. In this example, I'll go for basic store. Then choose if you've got the managed payment system. If you're working, for example, with PayPal, then you're not using eBay's managed payments and switch it over to no. If you're working with Payoneer or directly to your bank account if you live in the US, then choose yes, you are using managed payments. Next, how many products do you want to list? So here, for example, for this test, I want to have the basic store and let's say I want to list 1,500 products. In this case, as you can see, my total cost is $125. This means that this is the price that I'll be paying on top of the basic store subscription fee. Here's the explanation of how that went down. If you have a basic store subscription, eBay charges you insertion fees only if you list above 1,000 products because in the basic store subscription, they give you 1,000 products to list. Just as we can see in this example right here. So with the basic store at $22 per month, we have 1,000 free fixed price listings. But if we wanna add 1,500 products, then for every listing above 1,000, we'll have to pay 25 cents for every listing. So if we take 25 cents, and multiply that by 500 because we already have 1000 products that are free, but we added another 500 products on top of that. So that extra 500 times 25 cents comes out to $125 extra cost above our basic store subscription. So in this case, we'd be paying $125 plus $22, which comes out to $147. In this case, of course, it's much better to simply pay $60 per month and get 10,000 free fixed price listings. So of course, getting to 1,500 products, having just a basic store is not a good idea. Now, if for example, I bring that down to 1,100, products which is just 100 products over the 1000 that i'm allowed to have in my basic store subscription in this case i'll be paying 25 dollars extra insertion fees on top of the 22 dollars 
for the basic store subscription. So $22. And by the way, guys, this is for the annual subscription. If you have, if you don't have the annual subscription, I think it's around $27 or something like that. So check it out whether you have an annual subscription or not and make your calculation from there. So in this example for the annual subscription, I'm paying eBay $22 for the basic store and another $25 to list another 100 products. So 1,100 products instead of 1,000. In this case, I'm paying 25 plus 22, which is $47 which is still much cheaper than paying $60. So if I have 1,100 products, I'm still gonna stay with the basic store and not upgrade to a premium store yet. The sweet spot here in this example should be 1,150 products, where here my total cost for those extra 150 listings above my free 1,000 listings will cost me an extra $37.50 add that to $22, that should come out to close, very close to $60, which means that this will be the sweet spot. And once I pass 1,150 listings using my basic store subscription, this will be the right time to move over to a premium store. So those are the basics of how to use our eBay free insertion fee calculator. And if for example, I will move over to the premium store, and here I'm listing 1,150 products, you will see that my total cost is $0. Same goes for if I go for the basic store, but list only 900 products. In this case, it's still only $0. This doesn't mean that I'm not paying any fees at all. This simply means that I'm not paying any extra insertion fees on top of the store subscription that I already have. So if on the basic store subscription, I'm getting 1000 listings and I'm only listing 900, I'm not paying any extra insertion fees yet. And that is why we have $0 on the total cost. I hope that this video explanation will help you understand how to use the free eBay insertion fees calculator to help you calculate your expenses and make the most profit that you can from your online store.